January to April, it was nuking busy in Park City, Utah. Well, now you could tell it's a little slow because my content has slightly changed. But anyway, oftentimes drivers are like, oh, Lyft sucks, or maybe they're like, Uber sucks, Lyft is better, right? It doesn't matter. You're in the gig economy. You need all the gigs. I, I deliver groceries sometimes. Now, 99% of the time, Instacart sucks, but every now and then, it is good. March of 2020, when the you-know-what was going down, it was like I'd do $300 a day very easily with only putting like 40 miles on my car, but... Most of the time it sucks. When Taylor Swift was in Park City and 100,000 people were here and we couldn't even go two blocks, it was all about Instacart delivering groceries out of the city. But anyway, this so our guy here today says, uh, uh, I'm out driving on a busy, you know, busy Saturday, six hours. Suddenly, they want me to, you know, update my profile fit, uh, pic and now it's under... Review, blah, 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 right? So the bottom line, moral of the story is this is just another reason why you need both. It's a necessity. It doesn't matter if one sucks more than the other or if one's better than the other or you like one better than the other. It's a, You got to have both. This is just one more reason. There's a lot of reasons. Okay, if you have both, you have more destination modes, destination filters. If you have both, one might be having a bonus, the other one might not be. One might be surging more than the other might not be. Sometimes at nighttime you do Lyft because it's easier to protect your five-star rating than it is Uber for reasons which I can explain if you ask in comments and subscribe, please. But uh, there are reasons why Lyft is easier to maintain and protect your five-star rating. A whole list of them. I have a list of six different reasons why Lyft is easier to maintain your five-star rating. One of them being that most people don't know that if you cancel the ride after it's started, they cannot give you a rating. Uber, once you start the ride, they got you by the you-know-what. So, uh, sometimes you're driving Lyft when it's crazy wild bar nights, drunks at night. And then in the morning from 4 a.m. on, you're driving Uber to do airport runs and sober people going to work and that kind of a thing. But you need both. There's all of those reasons. Well, this is just one more reason. The best of the best drivers have all been temporarily suspended or on hold or account, uh, you know, paused with no access to your Uber app. The, uh, the best drivers have had this happen. I can tell you story after story of these amazing drivers like Geo in uh, Chicago. He has 20,000 Uber rides, just all about Uber, didn't even like Lyft, you know, always praising Uber. And and then and then something happened, which was a complete lie. He did absolutely nothing wrong. No reason to be right. The best drivers. So you need both. And in addition, you really need all of that. So it's called the simple gig because there's all kinds of gigs, but there's certain times for each one, other ones. But as far as driving and passengers and rideshare goes. You need both Uber and Lyft, and this is just one more example as to why we're a poor guy's out on a busy, there's nothing like when it's a busy Saturday night and it's surging and you're raking in money and you had planned and you told everybody, you tell your friends and family, I'm going to put 12 hours in tonight, I'm going to be gone for 13 hours, and this happens. One more reason why you need both.